All the games from the bargain bin. Watch them being played by him or him. It's the bargain bin, brothers. Hello, I am older brother Tristan, and this is Game Tycoon. Um, I'm not going to give you the usual video where I struggle to figure out what's going on and you try to uh, maintain interest while I do it. Instead, I'm going to describe to you exactly why this game is so incredibly, mind-bogglingly terrible. So, uh, Ridley Tack. Make a company. I'm going to be the blonde guy, because I think of myself as blonde. Uh, normal difficulty. Uh, the tutorial, which I had to do to understand how the game works, is actually incredibly slow, and then I actually got stuck. I used the word actually twice in a sentence, but despite that, this game is still dumber than that. So we're going to go with the first mission. Um, you have to make a game that has 75%. I'm not even going to try to do the, um, a game really here. Uh, your guy actually has to walk around to go to one of these different buildings. Uh, there's four different areas. You get out to this menu by right clicking and then say university. This is, You double click on it so you don't have to wait for your guy to walk. And then you can hire people. So the fixed employment means that you have to pay them for three months when you want to fire them and independ is independently. Well, that just means you can get rid of them, fire them whenever you want. They're independent contractors. So you just take them on for one game, then you let go of them. Um, so I don't know, might as well just grab uh, some people there. Just so that I'm not completely just making fun of the game. And here oh, you buy magazines. What can I do for you? Can you hear this guy talk? What do you do with a laptop in a kiosk? I need the laptop for my work. Maybe I can do you a favor next time. This is somebody doing a bad impression of Homer Simpson's idiot cousin. Like, it's not good. Home, you can just buy fancy things, because apparently making video games is about having tons of money to waste on your little apartment thing. Uh, Media Park, so that guy, design, the image of your company. Uh, this is production, so I'm going to make, uh, let's say, Backyard Hackers. Sure, they make any, whatever games. anything else I can do for you? Yeah, creepy guy. Very creepy guy. Uh, here's where it tells you, like, you can see games here for sale, and you can grab a dirty magazine, apparently. Uh, here's what actually makes the game, so you can like package and decide how much stuff you want to throw in the game. Yes, you don't have access to those, I have okay game. So, uh, the bank, I don't understand how all the things in the bank work. Here, you just like, I'm going to create an engine, so I want all the, the things. It's going to give it everything here. All of the features in my engine. It'll work with keyboard or joystick, multiplayer, and X as a save function. I have that's extra. And then you say, okay, print off. Here's what I want. Oh, name. Every engine has, has everything. And then have to enter. And then, boom. So, um, this is just you graphing things so that don't really matter over time. You can put things in your vault. Let's put the dirty magazine in the vault. Or not. Uh, here's where the people that you hire actually make the game for you. You don't actually do any of that, they just do it for you. Um, so I want to make engine, and let's just double click on these, these people so that they're all working on that. Okay? So now they're working on that project. I'll go to the uh, university and give the dirty magazine to this guy. What? Hi. Wait. What can I do for you? Hey, thanks a lot. You've done me a big favor. I want you to sabotage other companies. How should I hurt your competitor? Apparently this guy at the magazine store is just someone you can get to, uh... make up stuff about your competitors. Why is it going slow? Go fast. And that's really the game. Uh, after they make the engine, you take the game and you... Oh. Huh. I just learned that apparently when you take those red contracts from this guy, you have to actually attach them to a game uh, in time. 
or it counts as failing them. In fact, it's collecting them. But yeah, that's the whole game. Uh, it is the worst interface for a tycoon game I've ever seen, by far. And it's when you get past the interface, an incredibly boring, very little function game. Um, there's very little you can do as a tycoon person to uh, actually advance your product, do a better job. You can kind of manipulate what employees you have for hired, right? Like this guy would make really quite good games very fast. This guy would make very good games almost as fast, right? So I would hire them actually. But then of course the cost is relative. Um, but that's that's all you can do. It's just basically if you played a tycoon game and you wish that it had more micromanaging and less uh, strategy or depth, then this is the game for you. Uh, but as it is, I'm going to rate it a 7.5 out of 1,000. And I'm still being generous because it's just the worst game ever. It is $3.29, which is terrible because I wouldn't give these guys free because it was just that bad. Um, but it is also three times as much as some amazing games I've played. Um, so if you know of any good tycoon games that are under our $10 limit for this channel, you please could let me know in the comments because I would uh, be able to play those. Or if you think there's anything in here that I really should have looked at, you can also comment that. If you think this terrible game um, was good to share with the world, then you can hit like. And if you made this game and think that I should have been less mean to you, then you can hit dislike. Um, and if you haven't subscribed, you should do so because I'm going to keep making more videos and then you'd be let know about those and you could never have to play a game like this.